Hey, booktube. Oh yeah, everything I'm wearing in this video, like, makes noise, so sorry about that. Secondly, I've kind of tried to keep in the vibe of, like, the book that I'm binding, which, if you're being real, is just my wardrobe. <laughs> but yeah, getting on with the video, a while ago, in one of my hauls, I mentioned that there was a book there that I hated the cover of so much that I was going to change it and, like, rebind it into something that was appropriate for my shelves. And I ended up doing that book binding as, like, part of, like, a reading vlog that I was doing. However, I kind of only showed, like, basically some really really quick highlights and a few people did mention that they would actually like like a full book binding type video so that's what this is i will say this is not like a tutorial this is just like a fun little diy moment of me just i guess celebrating the fact that i did like my first book binding and i will say it is like a really really simple book binding so the book with the hideous cover that i decided needed to be rebound was lost souls by poppy z bright i'm not going to talk too much about the book itself other than to say like this cover is supremely awful and also every other book cover like you can actually buy this book in is just they're just bad <laughs> i'm so sorry if you like these but i do not and i feel like this one is like the green one is like the most common book cover that you can find this book in and i'm going to do this video in like a weird order because i have already rebound this book so i'm going to show you like a fun little spoiler of what the book looks like now and then like i'll put all like the nice footage at the end but essentially i changed this book from this into this this cute little green like leather bound hardback and spoilers i did end up like giving this black sprayed edges cute little ribbon bookmark it's cute i feel like i did a good job with this book the only place i kind of messed up was like a little bit on the spine where it's like a little bit wonky but i feel like it's fine and the font came out pretty much like exactly like i wanted it's really really hard to like get it to look as shiny as it actually does in real life like it's it's very like metallic and shiny um but it doesn't seem to work with my camera and my ring light so i will try and put some footage in but yeah i really really like the font um this is like the actual font that i like put together it's a mix of like two or three fonts and i've like resized some things and stretched some things to make it kind of like unique i feel like the color came out perfect because like green and chartreuse are like it's like this book's color and i managed to find tabs that match like the exact um exact color of this book because i have already read this book and i did tab it before i filmed this so just know that <laughs> so yeah if you would like to see um i guess how i went from like this gross gross cover um to this beautiful nice unique little like shiny black and green hardback that looks kind of like a bible but like it still kind of fits the theme of the book so like it's totally fine like it's vampires like it's totally fine then yeah stick around i will like show like my whole process even though like it's not filmed the best and like it's not meant to be like a tutorial or anything but if you want to see how i did this then please stick around and i will have like some like nicer like b-roll type footage um of this and like also nice close-ups and things at the end so you can like see how it came out and yeah um this is kind of a weird video because it, it, it pretty much just is me being like commemorating the fact that i did this um but yeah for now if you're interested in like seeing this be made um here is that process footage Okay. 
Show me the sun Show me the big rock star Show me the sun Watch it burn me down And show me the sun Show me the big rock star Show me the sun Watch it burn me down Um, that was, <laughs> I guess, like, the entirety of, like, me making this book. As I said, like, it, it was really simple. Like, I didn't put, like, a massive amount of effort into doing this. I just kind of wanted something that did not look gross on my shelf, that I thought was, like, in keeping with, like, the style and the vibe of the book, but that just looked better. And I feel like all I did really was just kind of, like, clean it up. Um, and just make it look nice so that like if it sits on a shelf it's nice and cute and I like the font the, I love the font so much it came out perfect um, and I like that it's unique um, and also 
shiny and foiled. This was like a really, really simple binding, um, but I feel like I would definitely like to do more, and I might end up going like way more detailed with stuff in the future, because this, this turned out to be like way easier than I thought it would be. Um, and I feel like I did learn a few things as well, so maybe look out for more book bindings in the future, but yeah. I'm not really sure like what else I have to say about this book. I feel like it does look really nice, like with the little black sprayed edges. It just kind of looks like, I don't know, it's like a 90s goth bible for vampires <laughs> kind of vibe. And honestly, that's a vibe I enjoy. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and like let me know what you think of like the final product. I know it's not perfect by all means, but it's better than this. Yeah, let me know what you thought of this. Do you feel that this is an improvement? Like I feel like I don't need to ask, but... And yeah, are any of you considering maybe like doing this to your books because it is actually super easy. Um, and I did this on the cheap, so <laughs> I feel like this video has gone on too long now, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did make it this far, leave me a little green heart in the comments, because green is definitely a theme of this video. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye!